The presidential election season is in full swing following the formal nominations at the party conventions. Reporters Paige Williams and Leslie McVeigh were at the Democratic Convention in Charlotte, North Carolina and spoke with some of Maine's delegates about the issues that are important to them. Hi, this is Paige Williams with CTN Channel 5. I'm here inside the convention center. Uh, we've got a lot of people coming in the doors and we ran into Jill Dusan, a city council member from Portland, Maine. So tell me, Jill, what are you doing here? Well, Paige, I just ran out of fun things to do and I thought I'd stop down a short in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina and see what was going on. Well, thanks for coming and saying <laughs> hi. So, uh, <laughs> Why is this uh, convention important to you? Well, uh, this will be uh, my fifth convention. Um, I am a uh, delegate from Portland, Maine, and I've served in local government in Portland, Maine for a while now. I'm very involved in local politics. I'm kind of, I'm a product of the civil rights movement, and being engaged in politics at all levels has just been something embedded in me by prior generations. Oh. <laughs> what has the atmosphere been like with the main with the main delegates? Well, our delegation is just a, a, a fun collection of quirky personalities. Um, it's a group of people who know each other from being very active in uh, Maine politics over many, many years. And then there's a few who are very young and new to the process. Um, for example, uh, you would think my son, who is 20 and is the youngest delegate in the Maine delegation, you'd think he was new to the process. but. He, this is his fifth convention as well, so uh, wow. we've been very active. He has always attended with me, um, and the delegation is kind of like, truly kind of like a family. Uh, what are the most important issues to you? Well, what's at the top of my list are, of course, is, of course, health care, uh, making sure we preserve Obamacare, um, and making sure we get out the message by re-electing President Obama by a wide majority, that we send a clear message that health care is important to the nation. Um, and then women's rights, uh, it's just crazy the way the Republican Party seems to be wanting to roll back the clock. Um, we need to, for me, a piece of, um, one of my mantras is, you know, there's freedom of speech, but then there is the responsibility to talk back. And for me, being at this convention and being engaged is about talking back and making sure people don't misrepresent, misrepresent what's important uh, to people in my economic class, in my, in my race class, um, uh, people, single moms. I mean, I, I just hit so many different um, interest groups as a person, um, as a person who was unemployed for much of last year. Um, it's just important for me to talk back, to stand up and talk back. Well, I'm uh, tag teaming with my daughter Paige. It's my turn up at the mic, and I am here with supposedly the youngest delegate from Maine, Justin Chinette. Hi, Justin. Hi. It's unconfirmed. Unconfirmed, <laughs> and we we don't tell lies. We just we're not so Paul we're, Ryan. We're, no, we're not Paul Ryan. No. <laughs> so tell me, um, how has it been so far? It's only really the second day you've been here. Uh, well, this is my first national convention, so this is truly a fantastic experience. I'm really just absorbing everything right now. Uh, when I walked into the convention uh, for the first time, literally my breath was taken away from me. It was such an um, exhilarating experience because it's not about the D or the R, it's about just enjoying democracy and our political system and being a part of something much larger than ourselves individually, and this is what this convention is all about. So tell me, what are the issues that are closest to your heart? Do we have five hours to talk about it? <laughs> no. <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> jobs, jobs, jobs. I mean, um, any Google search for any you know, employment in Maine or across the country, uh, it's difficult for people, especially those aged between 18 and 30. I mean, there are some areas where the unemployment rate for that age group is between 12 and 17 percent. I mean, that's unbelievable. And, and so I'm seeing those effects, and this is why I'm running for office back home in the state of Maine. I know. Congratulations <laughs> on that. That's a big step for someone your age. Yeah, well, at 21. He's at, 21. <laughs> we don't need to go over my age. No, um, no but tw yeah, at 21, I would be the youngest legislator in the state, um, which, you know, from that perspective, Perspective is not important, but what is, is important is inspiring other young people to get civically engaged. Hey, well, I'm here with Loretta Clausen, mayor of Boone, North Carolina, and an old friend. And an old friend, that's exactly right. We go back a long way, a don't long we, way. Leslie? Hi, Loretta. Just ran into each other, and this is great. Oh my gosh, and Andy Ball from what, Boone as what, well. What an amazing event. We're so excited to be here representing the mountains and Boone, and we're just so excited to be here on behalf of Watauga County. The rest of the country looks at North Carolina, and yes. North Carolina's been doing some things that really do not sit well with the Democratic Party. 
I guess you're well, right. As far as, as right, as the right, right to marry. So we had an yes. amendment one issue on the ballot in the in the in the primary. I think you saw a lot of new voters coming out, a lot of young voters coming out for that issue. They're coming back out again this time. Anybody who votes in a Democratic primary is voting in the general. So we're excited about that turnout. At the Democratic National Convention in Charlotte, this is Leslie McVeigh for Community Update.